welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, so today I'm going to just, um, just woken up and I know I haven't made a video in a while so I'm going to, um, basically I've been listening to a lot of Your Baby, Ghana and I would like to try and make some guitar sound like them but instead of using a sample I want to try and create this sound using MIDI. I will be making some turbo guitars. So this is the EXS24, if you've got this in 10 it will be the same thing. That's really shit isn't it? That'll do. Yes, I would want a real guitar. I need a real guitar, I've got one. Why don't I just use it? So the first thing I always do automatically is just add EQ to take off the low end even though I'd probably, that's without even listening, I take off about 100 frequencies even, I wouldn't do that with the kick for instance or something, I want to be bassy but I'll just do that for now. The second thing which is pretty cool is if you've got Waves 9 to get the CLA, CLA guitars. So you can hear already without me even picking a good preset, it's like, it already sounds better. Right, so I'll take that off for a second. The next thing I like to do to give something a, uh, uh, a vintage sample type of sound would be isotope vinyl this is actually free go on splice go on wherever you need to go on this is free so this is sick and i all i do is lift up the warp depth my friend plugged me with this shouts out for the room you hear that and i don't know if you can hear it actually sounds like the guitar scratching in places and I believe it's when the notes are overlapping, but so I put the CO back on. It's a bit much. Don't have to do this, but add a bit of tremolo. Make put it up to for this speed, put it on eight. No, no, eight, yeah. And then instead of the phasing so it goes from left to right speaker, I do it so that it's it's um, both sides so put your phase on zero so there's no phase maybe change this a little bit like this this makes it feel a bit um sample -y. but you don't have to have it so if you don't want it to sound so much just pull the depth down like that it's not so much then add your guitar again all right sean that doesn't even sound that bad like I'm just fucking around, yo. They don't even sound too bad, boo. <laughs> so if you don't have waves and you don't want to use Cilla guitar, just whack out one of these. You would have this in real life. You'd have a foot pedal if you're playing the guitar, if you fancy it. Vintage drive. These are clean. I want something vintage sounding so it sounds a bit sample 60s that. Another cool thing to use, which I like using, is something called H delay. Nice bit of effect. Um, I wouldn't even know where to start with this one. My whole vibe is that I'm looking for vintage things, so I've clicked on the preset that says oldies. The 
that sounds quite nice actually. Leave that there. I'm gonna take that off. See you later, guitar. Take the reverb down, the delay down. To be fair. So that's just a simple. Let's pull up the treble a bit. I'm basically ready to make a beat with this. I might even bounce this as a sample. Let's put a bit of half time on it and see what it sounds like. Beautiful. I've got a perfect drum kit that would go down a storm with this. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video and like and subscribe for more content soon. Cause you know, like she will stick to her promise soon. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you liked it. Next time I might pick an actual, I might actually just get a guitar sample and try it that way. Or actually just get my guitar out, do it that way too. But that's how you turn MIDI into a um, drip guitar. <laughs>